Hey everyone, welcome back uh, to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but today I have two, uh, let's say, perpetrators with me who's going to help me show off something I've known about for a while, but I've, in my usual fashion, I've kept it secret from the For Honor community. Uh, because a lot of people complain Senbin Zakura, aka Hito's one shot tier 4, is inconsistent. Uh, as a workaround, I found out a way to more or less one-shot 80% of the cast, uh, regardless of that, uh, regardless of that feat, simply because you can buff Hito's damage way past what the devs probably intended the CCQ to intend. So, uh, in order to show this, I'm, uh, I have these two helping me. Uh, one is Tefrosty Guy and one is Tefrosty Guy. Uh, they are both very reliable uh, friends helping me. Not to be confused with the Frosty guy. Um, so first off, I want to show you what it's like, uh, hitting someone with revenge with, uh, with, uh, he does max punish. And, uh, to Frosty guy is going to be the first perpetrator. Don't block top. I hate you. And it's 16 into 45. That doesn't sound like that much, but then let's, uh, take it up a notch. Let's do fear itself. Turns into 18 with 51, if you could gladly revive him to Frosty Guy. So that sounds pretty great. And uh, you can actually further increase this by doing Revenge plus Fear Itself. But we're going to show that here in a few moments. Next up is going to be Revenge with Fear Itself. This gives you a considerable damage boost. And again, to Frosty Guy will be the uh, perpetrator because I like picking on to Frosty Guy. Uh, to Frosty Guy. So then you'll see... 24 followed up by 67. That's almost all of his health. But that's not all. Now, the truth is, the purpose of this video is to show off the true combo, which is Bloodlust plus Fear itself. The truth, uh, because of how Hito works, uh, her damage gets buffed while her enemy's defense gets debuffed, kind of multiplying the damage. I don't need revenge for this. Um... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill, uh, we're gonna kill kill the frost you guy, and then we're going to aim it to frost you guy. So he has quite a bit of HP, so he's gonna take a while to chip through. And then we're just gonna do this. You'll see 27 with 77, and almost all of his HP, save for one last bar, is finally gone. And we're not done yet. Remember how we saw Revenge before? Let's try it with Revenge. So next up, we're going to show what it's like with Revenge. As usual, we are going to kill the Frost Dew guy. And, but just before we do, we're going to pop Fear Itself and Revenge. Okay. And 33 into 92 125 damage seems warden has 130 so he gets by with a sliver of health that any character can light him out of purposefully this is a very very good anti gaking build for hito but regardless this is also i personally like to call this hito's big funny damage build as you saw even without revenge, this is probably the most absurd thing you can do with Hito. Even more absurd than Senbin Sakura. And the best part about this is, this doesn't rely on just one feat. This relies on two feats, and they can all be used uh, separately without any worries. So, I just wanted to make this video to kind of like display this before the Hito gets reworked. Uh, some of you may notice that uh, Hito is being reworked uh, as shown by the For Honor Dev latest uh, Warriors Den. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you're from the comp subreddit, don't forget to upvote. I'll see you guys later. Bye!